Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards and today we're making a Negroni Spagliato, aka the Negroni Mistake. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are tackling a variant of the classic Negroni. Now the classic Negroni, for those of you that are new here, was an equal parts cocktail of Campari, sweet vermouth, and gin. And it was created in the 1920s for Count Negroni. Now there have been a couple of different variations of this cocktail over the years. However, this variation called the Negroni Spagliate was the uh, brainchild of Mirko Stocchetti. And he served this at the Barbasso in Milan. And actually when it came time to creating this cocktail, he was making an original Negroni and accidentally reached for the Prosecco instead of the gin. Poured it in, went, oh, mamma mia, or whatever his Italian variant is in Italian. I, well, you know what? He probably swore very quietly under his breath as he looked at the customer and the customer looked at him and went, let me try that. So the customer tried it, but mm, yum, tasty. It was really good. And this cocktail has endured and can be seen there every day now. So let's get into making this simple cocktail. The first thing you need is your glass of choice. In this case, I am going to use a stemless wine glass because I like the way it looks. Use whatever you want. Classically, it's put into a rocks glass, but it's totally up to you with your cocktail. I am also going to double all the amounts for the recipe. And what that means is you'll cut everything in half and I'll put that down in the description just for you. So the first thing you need is your sweet vermouth. In this case, I'm using <laughs> Dylan's sweet vermouth. It is local to me. And I really, really like this. This has uh, notes of berries and it's just sweet enough to be drinkable without anything else mixing on. You can have it on ice and it's great. Anyways, we need 60 milliliters, which is two ounces. All right. The next thing you need is your bitters of choice. In this case, I'm using Campari. Now, Capari is an Italian uh, aperitif. I really like it. When I first tried it, I found this overly strong and I tried it in a Negroni and I didn't like the Negroni. But one of the things I found is that my tastes have changed over time. And if you're new to cocktail, you'll find that you'll find those things that you like and don't like. And some of those things that you didn't like may become enjoyable to you later on in your cocktail journey. So for this, we need another 60 millimeters or two ounces. Now at this point you're wondering, David, where's the ice? So I'm going to put some ice in right now, give it a very short stir. Looks nice. And I'm just going to give this just a very gentle stir. We don't need to stir it very much right now. This will just begin that dilution process and and get you exactly where you want to go. However, the next thing you need is your sparkling white wine, your Prosecco of choice. In this case, I'm using Frisione. And Frisione is a Spanish cava, and this one is actually a Carta Nevada. So let's just pop this. And remember, every time you're popping your cork, you want to twist it slightly so that you can control. Oh, look at that. And what we want to do is we just want to pour the same two ounces or 60 mils. Look at that. Beautiful. But we're gonna garnish this now, so grab your knife. I've seen a lot of people do a, just a peel of orange and just spritz it in there and throw it in there. However, the other way I've seen this is actually with an orange slice. In this case, I'm going to use half an orange slice. I'm gonna slide it in there like so. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now, because you just don't wanna drink your sparkling wine first and leave the rest of your flavors down here, we'll give this a very gentle stir just to incorporate everything. Look at that. The color is absolutely gorgeous. You can't go wrong. Let's see what we can smell. All right, so immediately we get a little bit of the, the uh, Frisina Cava or sparkling wine of your choice. Now, I get 
a little hint of the sweet vermouth, but that's it. Let's give it a try. Mm, mm. Oh, that is much better than the original Negroni, in my opinion. Oh, I get the hints of orange in there directly from the orange slice in there. I can taste the Campari. It settles on the back of your tongue and it's just like, oh, it's quite good. You get a little bit of the uh, Frisione and a little bit of the sweet vermouth, giving you a slightly sweeter tone to the Campari and it works really well. Mm. And if you let that sit for five minutes, if you find it too bitter, let it sit for a little bit and dilute even more. And that Campari will be even more subtle in the background. Really, really nice. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm happy I tried this. What I will do is I will leave the ingredients and a method of how to make this in a standard one-to-one -one ratio. And you can double that up depending on the size of the glass that you want. If you think I should use a different vermouth or even a different type of bitter. Remember, you don't have to use Campari. If you wanted it sweeter, you could go Aperol. Heck, you could even do something like an Amaro in there just to try it out and give us that feedback because I really wanna know what you think would be the best style of this drink. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. And you know what? I'm going to go sit on the deck because it's really nice out there today. It's been around since the 1920s when it was created for. We are tackling a classic 